David, you possibly describe your emotions right now? No. Uh, it's just unbelievable. What a game. Up and down, tight all the way, and it's just the offense came through, and we just needed to close the door. So I'm so proud of this group and uh, so happy to be moving on. All right, you're getting up in the bullpen in that ninth inning, basically right around where Pete ends up driving that one out. What was your vantage point and your thought process when you see it clear the fence? Yeah, I was on the mound, and I saw him hit it. I saw he struck it good, and I was just hoping it had enough to get out. And when we saw it go over the fence, we went nuts, and uh, – Rosie kind of had to say, hey, like, we got to close this thing out. So uh, I had to lock it back in. But, um, I mean, they just, the offense was unbelievable. They just fought to the very end. The Brewers did a great job. Uh, they're a great team, and, and they kept us at bay for eight innings. But um, our offense came through in the end. I was going to say, what was that like for you where obviously the celebration is immense, but you know that you've got to be the guy that locks back in and goes back out there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's just it's finishing the job. That's, that's what we've talked about, one pitch at a time. And just, just keep moving forward. This is what this team has done, and we, we just continue to take a step forward. And, um, yeah, unbelievable win. David, congratulations. Go enjoy it. Awesome. Thank you, Steve. Jose, what is it about this team? What is it? Oh, my God. We, we fight together. You know, I can't explain it. I mean, I cannot. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> The remix! The remix! The remix! You know, it's a good thing you guys found a way. The remix wouldn't have hit as hard if you guys didn't go on. We never quit. Uh, I told P on the 8th, we were our defense. And I say, be ready, because next inning you're going to hit a home run. I can't explain it. it, it you know. It, Why did you say that? It's my instinct. Uh -huh. You know, I know how hard he's been working this series to get it going. I was with him during batting practice, spending time with him. It's paying off, and, and I feel very proud to contribute in that aspect of the game as well. What do you think that moment truly meant to him? He's been very good at delaying his emotions and saying that he's not frustrated. I mean, no, we're gonna, we're gonna bring going, going. It's, You going. know, it's special. That was a, that was a big about, yeah. um, you know, that guy was going, like I say, you know, he was, he was fighting all series long, and it's paying off at the end right where it needs to be. So very proud of him, very proud of all the group. Carly's done a great job. We just got to keep going, keep going, and uh, believe in ourselves, and keep having fun, man. We had a great group. Jose, go keep having fun. All right, let's do it. Thanks. Brandon, I just saw you embrace David Stearns and say that's why you never give up. That's why you never give up. Why does this team never give up? <sighs> man, we're... We just understand, you know, we've done it before. We understand that that until we're done, until the game is done, it, it's not over for us. We've, and I just, I'm just so proud of the character of this team because, you know, Pete even coming up in that in that last at bat. You know, I, I was talking with Chavi and he was saying, "Hey, I'm just I'm just one swing away, just one swing away." And um, it's no secret that you know he's been he's been trying to find it and. Um, just for him to, to have the calm and, and to have a plan going up there. And we've talked about this. We've talked about having a plan when you go up there and then just shoot new shots. And it might not work out, but it will sometimes. And that's that's all you need And in this game. And I'm just extremely, extremely proud of I me. Mean, Francisco, unbelievable at bat to get us started, get a base runner on, and then you're one swing away, you literally are. And then, you know, obviously Pete, Putting an unbelievable at bat together, going the other way. What is that? Is that the first home run off that changeup? I mean, unbelievable, right? Saving it for for the biggest time of the year, right when we needed it. Um, and Starling and Jesse having unbelievable at bats. Um, Jesse taking the extra bet base with it, the stealing base with his back, the way it is. I mean, I'm just so so proud of these guys. And I guess the answer to your question is because we believe in each other. This is a family here, and. Um, you know, I, we just try to never we try to never give up until the last out because we know good things like this can happen. You were on first base when that home run gets hit yeah. off the bat. Yeah. Are you thinking that's out? You know, we hadn't hit a home run yet, yeah. and and so I was honestly just hoping it would get over his head or hit off the wall or something so that I would be able to at least get to third, if not home. Um, and so I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think so right off the bat. I knew he got the barrel, but also like we hadn't hit one yet. So I was like. I don't know. You know, things just didn't seem like they were quite flying, like, for us at least. But um, 
I, I didn't I didn't I didn't know and and so I was trying to get as far off the first base as I could and then he just kept kind of going back and I was like oh okay 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 and when he jumped up and I saw it go over I literally said oh my god I was like and I, I was like this is I, this is happening this is happening we, we have the lead now like and that's why that's why you just play until the last out because in this game in life you just you just never know what's gonna happen last one for you Brandon you've been in this organization a long time your entire adult life two times now in the last four days you could argue that there were all-time games played by this franchise are you able to wrap your head around what has happened this week no no I, I don't I don't think so I, I think I think it'll take time to wrap that around and, and we're not going to get that um, but I just with what's transpired this season it's, it seems only fitting you know we, we seem down and out the beginning of the season we were written off um, then obviously it was compounded in April and May and then we went on this just unbelievable run of being the best record in baseball for the next four months you know having the team meeting pulling ourselves up and that's kind of how this game was you know I mean this game we were down and out for eight innings you know and we just said you know what we're just gonna keep shooting our shots until the end and we're gonna see what happens and we're able to score four runs in the bottom of the ninth off of an amazing closer and against a great team and have, again, like you said, another instant classic game. And I think it's just the makeup of this team of just never giving up, never listening to the outside noise telling you that you should give up, you, should, you, you shouldn't even try, it's over. Just keep going, just keep going. And these guys embody that, and I'm just so, so proud of them. Now it's on to Philly. Congratulations, Brandon. Thank you. Thanks, Steve.